We're continuing our coverage now on that high-stakes murder trial of a Chatham County mother accused of killing her toddler and dumping his body in the trash. WSUV's Kelly Fedko inside the courtroom. She tells us who will make up the jury for Leilani Simon's case. The jury officially seated in the trial of Leilani Simon, accused of murdering her 20-month-old son, Quinton. It took two days and nearly 15 hours for both counsels to narrow down a jury pool of 98 people to 16 jurors. That includes four alternates. The jury consisting of 10 men and six women, all of mixed age and race. Opening statements begin on Monday. I'll be in court that day, giving you updates throughout the day, and I will be with you through the entirety of this trial. Reporting in Savannah, Kaylee Fedco, WSAV News 3, on your side. Hello, everyone. So, I will just go into the story of Quentin Simon. You all know it, so I'm not going to go with the psychic element of like what happened to him, but I will be pulling some cards, and so the camera will be on cards in a moment. What I decided to do is actually do an energy check in after I knew she was going to go, the trial was going to begin. I didn't know about this case. I'll tell you a bit more about what I knew about the case was. Um, a few months ago, it pop up on my feed, dumped in a trash. She's already in um, jail. I mean, how old is she? She looks about 17. Like, can anyone tell me how old she is? I also have my notebook here. And I have um, noted some things that came through as downloads. Because like I said, I thought people might not want to know again another psychic reading i don't know how many psychics have read on it um but i thought it'd be interesting to get an energy check in on her and also i wanted to do a check in on her boyfriend because i noted i think there's a boyfriend in her life and there is so this is about a bit of back and forth um i will show you what i noted and you just need to believe me rather than me pausing recording um, but for now, let's learn a little bit more about this case. So, Leilani Simon, the Georgia mother, accused of murdering... Oh, I said the word. Um, disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. For exing her toddler in 2022, returned to court last week as key evidence in the case was reviewed. This article, by the way, is Newsweek in August this year, 2024. Her highly anticipated trial for the exing of her 20-month-year-old son, Quinton Simon, who we can see his beautiful pictures, isn't he adorable, is set to begin in October. So next week, and by the way, next week we have Sarah Boone, and I'm not sure when Delphi is. Sarah Boone I'm going to get to because... I don't know if I can stand to watch that, but here we go. Um, if you've not seen the reading I've done on Sarah Boone, check it out because a lot of validation about her delusional kind of self shows in something I'm going to share. Anyway, back to Quinton, adorable Quinton. The state submitted seven pieces of evidence, including conversations between Simon, which is Leilani, detectives, witnesses, and her ex-boyfriend, so clearly they've split up since she's gone to jail, arguing the jury should review this material during the trial. So let me just say something. Quinton was found on the 18th of November, I believe, 2022. So what's that over a month later? And he was found in a waste, waste, rubbish landfill. I presume it was in the same area. It shouldn't have been too far. Um, but that's where he was found. And I believe they would have had clues that he was there. So that's going to be interesting what comes out. Now, the judge, which is Judge Tammy Strokes, is currently reviewing the evidence. The Newsweek reached out to the Chatham County District Attorney's Office. They said they cannot comment on pending cases at this time. 
The defence lawyer for Simon argued the state's evidence fails to address matters directly related to the crime. I'll go into a little bit more of this. I did a bit of true crime podcasting for us all on this. You're going to have to let me know if you enjoyed it. Normally, I just welcome you to the art gallery without me speaking. And it's a lot easier than amending, voicing and then getting to, to it. But I thought I want to give me and who we don't know, who doesn't know much about the case, where we're at. So here she is just last week as they did jury selection. By the way, it's the 12th of October as I record this. The ultimate question in the case is, did the defendant commit the crime? That's alleged. What I don't understand is what is her defence? And I'm going to get to something on that because I think she's going to try and set up something. Uh, But I'll get to that what I see. Um, And I think they're arguing anything irrelevant should not be included. And, you know, the defence lawyer also, um, I am not at liberty to discuss the posture of the case or the evidence submitted by the state of Georgia. That's what he replied to Newsweek when they reached out to him. So Simon was charged with malice, xing, concealing of xing of another person, false reporting, making false statements in connection with the disappearance and the xing of her 20-month-year-old son. According to indictment, the night before her son's xing, Simon met with a... It's interesting, I was going to say there's D-R-U-G's involved here and it says, allegedly, so, you know, we don't know about that, but... Her boyfriend said he last saw the child alive at 6 a.m. And I'm also going to do a time frame like I did in Madeline Soto's. Um, And I think I've hit the nail on the head where I said the time frame of where she was probably exed. If you didn't see that and if you're a member on Patreon and saw the exclusive extended 40 minutes while I dived into deep, deep, um, (laughs) that nearly turned into something else to do with Madeline Soto's case. Um, You should check it out. It's exclusive. I can't really put it on YouTube for what uh, questions I uh, I include. This was actually um, a kind of like, it's not a memorial. What do they do? They they were holding something while he was still missing. And in fact, I'm going to go into um, something else to do with an interview in a moment. So Simon's the only one who's been charged with the case, even though her boyfriend claims he was the last one to see the toddler. She said she reported, or actually, I think she reported him missing around 9am on the 5th of October. The 12th of October, Chatham County Police announced that they believed the child was not alive. And on the 18th of October, which would have been 2022, not this month, right, investigators in in indicted someone likely disposed of Quinton they've definitely had a clue here in a dumpster and after 30 days from that day which was the 18th of November I believe they found him in the landfill so um and that's what they have to say and the jury selection which I will go into consists of like we saw in the video credit to WSAV 43 Um, news on that clip it's 10 men and six women I presume there we have I presume there we have um, four on the bench by the way Georgia I'm gonna look where that is in the states whereabouts I need to start learning so much as are so many of the cases I cover so it's good to know but um, she was also denied bond a year ago Okay, and interestingly, prior, the judge had requested no cameras in the court when there's a trial. That has just recently in this week changed, which is amazing for any of us that want to watch the trial. I think I will be trying to watch this trial. Let me know, are you going to be looking at this trial? Is it something you've heard of? Um, And maybe we do more readings as we go along. Um, whether I get to see the trial all of all the time or not, but I definitely think they were they were given a clue about this. So um, there will be cameras. She was denied bond a year ago, and 
This is the interview that uh, Leilani and the grandmother, so the grandmother of Quinton did. Leilani's mother, they're sat outside their home, I believe, and Quinton was still missing. Let me just tell you, this interview, I stopped it three times. I was like, I just can't. Especially when she started crying, I felt sick. Not anger, like anything. I just felt sick. It was so fake. Look at the screenshots that I took of the grandmother. It's like she knows 100% what happened to Quinton. And I feel like at this point, she might not have said anything, but I feel at some stage, and you'll have to let me know, she has said something maybe to the police that she thinks her daughter's involved. And I think she knows what happened. She definitely 100% knows what happened to Quinton. Here, um, I mean, Leilani basically told them, told the story. She was like, she mentioned words like saviour. So it was kind of like, Quentin needed a saviour. She didn't say this, but to me, Quentin needed a saviour. She was negligent and there was n neglect. Um, she mentioned about they can't even sit in the house. Um, and to me, that's nothing to do with the paps or whatever. That's to do with it happening at home. Look how the mother's biting, the grandmother's biting her lip. It's kind of like, I can't talk, turning away. I can't deal with this. Eyes in her hands. Um, closing her eyes, it's, there's so many red flags. She might as well, if like, if she was talking for a bit more, which she might have done, because I just saw clips, I paused, and I was just like, she's basically telling the story. She, you know, is basically saying what happened, and then she says she's angry, and I'm like, why would she be angry? Obviously, it comes down to some downloads of I had of where this all went wrong on the night or day of Quinton. And look at the grandma. She might have had a gut feeling, but I, I believe she also knows. But 100% here, there's so many red flags in this interview. It really is insane. A bit more, and Leilani would have said, I've got a headache, or basically said what she was feeling, which would have been what was done in terms of injuries to Quinton. Let's get into it. Hi, everyone. So we will continue the reading not continue the reading but start the reading so how this came about was just like i said i'd seen like over a period of months thumbnails quinton simon his beautiful picture and what you know it was kind of like dumped in a dump dumpster or landfill um i never really looked into it but you know the mum's picture was all over the place remember disclaimer this is for entertainment purposes only the whole video and all my content is um so I was like, okay, I can do an energy check-in without doing a new missing cases reading or channeling. Um, sometimes when you've got a lot of things going on and then the world is heavy, it's difficult to feel you've got energy for that. So I thought I could do, but it ended up turning out to be a little bit more, okay? So what I was getting is that, you know, I think they've got the right person in place. I do think she's had help to get rid of the, you know, um, Quinton, all right? Um, but I do want to pull cards on the boyfriend. Now, the help is either, allegedly, my opinion, the boyfriend, or it could be... Um, so the help element of getting rid of the... Uh, let me put it this way. I think what happened happened and then the boyfriend either turns up or is there and she's like we need to solve we need to do something quick look what's happened um so i think it's been at her hands now the transportation of getting rid of the body was either with him or it could be um the garbage man that takes the garbage to the landfill because there's a man transporting one of the downloads i got is when she called the police i wonder if they could ping her location regardless of she her saying her location for example the house was her location pinged if she called from her mobile was it the home or was it actually 
closer maybe to where the dumpster is so that's something of a download we can see when we get to the trial maybe the boy was uh, scared of her she would probably put him in front of a telly of cartoons just to keep him busy while she wanted to do what she wanted to do does anyone know her age i've been trying to find out her age she looks really really young um i do think there's i do think she's got other kids um the grandmother was looking after or had custody of um quinton i do know that and i think Leilani and her boyfriend lived with the grandmother okay so that's what I understand um I don't believe it was like premeditated okay um isn't that boy really cute honestly I do think um either there was an element of possible drowning but then it was like coughing up the water and he didn't quite go and that's when um the end result of what was done was done or in the past he's been like left in the bath while like she used to put in front of the cartoons he'd like cartoons he also liked donald duck but also um um or a pool or something like there's been there's been a time where he's maybe been close to, to drowning and it's from neglect okay so a lot of the words she said in her interview tells you the story it's just unbelievable I don't know if there's been a, an assessment of that interview and how long that interview is like I said made me feel sick um, and it took three times for me to actually try to listen to it and as I was listening I was just just words was like I wasn't I was listening but do you know when some words are like what did she just say um as opposed to the whole sentence and there is something like I need to tap into this a bit more but um I do think he has like an injury and I won't be surprised if allegedly he was grabbed by the neck and held up and shaken there's kind of like a smothering as well okay so um, but I don't want to channel, like I said, there's a lot going on and then there's the world as well. So um, I'm kind of keeping up content that you like, hopefully that you like, you'll have to let me know, um, without having to do like new cases of channeling into uh, stuff like that. Okay. Um, such a pleasant, you know, boy, like even if you put up on the cartoons, and you said, come on, let's watch some cartoons. And he put, he knows you've taken the remote to the telly or the TV. Um, he'd be jumping up and down and be like cartoons. And then he'd sit in front of the telly cross-legged. He's so cute, honestly. Um, and this is her saying she doesn't want to channel. But like little things, you know. So I want to check, does she have any remorse? Her boyfriend. You know, like I get like she was really lazy, selfish and... She might have been a good mother in the first couple of months to him or let's say four months or six months. But then I think in the last year, um, I don't know if that's when she maybe got more involved with the DRUGs, but he was scared of her. Um, and I don't know how people do this, but I can tell you that taking those heavy DRUGs does affect people acting out like this but there's absolutely no excuse i'm not trying to get her an a, a trial easier and that's why i'll be watching it because i don't think i will feel bad sometimes once people are guilty i can see where their soul is not in their body like they might have had a trauma car accident the body's depart the soul has departed they've started taking grugs and they're empty from out oh, they're empty from inside it actually didn't hurt but it shocked me that something touched my hand um so sometimes i feel the pain of both sides um but i think for this just because i feel she's we're gonna see but i feel like she's i don't feel like there's the awakening of remorse um i do think like a babysitter I think they said they, they cancelled the babysitter. I think that babysitter has a lot to say or would be a good person to put in 
um, like she knows Leilani. I also think Leilani, there was alcohol, there's some kind of alcohol, like uh, maybe it's a boyfriend, I'll, I'll have beers in the evening or something. There's also alcohol there. And I'm not, like, I'm not saying anything. Some people like a glass of wine, some wine every single night, beers, and they don't do crap, right? So I'm just giving you feelings that come through. I also feel like she smoked cigarettes, like not the vapes. And when I say vapes, apparently now there's um, H-E-R-O-I-N, vapes. I'm talking about just vapes instead of cigarettes. I think she liked a pack of cigarettes. Um, I, I feel her mother was a wine drinker as well, um, but I don't think the mother would have done anything to that child. I think the mother knew, like she just, like if you look at, it's just unbelievable. That interview is unbelievable. Um, have any of you seen it in full? Um, will you be watching the Sarah Boone trial? Will you be watching this trial? I don't know if Delphi is next week. Sarah Boone rejected a plea deal of, um, you know, pleading guilty, um, but she would have got, I believe, 15 years. She served four, and they said it could be reduced to eight, most likely eight. She would have, uh, or just over eight, she would have just only had like four and a half, maximum five years, most probably to serve, and she rejected that. So I don't know if I would be able to stand watching her trial um, because it just seems so obvious. And I think there is proof of the physical A. Um, and I think I said it in my first reading, it was from both sides. And I do think it was from both sides. And when the suitcase, when she was talking about the suitcase or when she was recording on the suitcase, I think she said something like, like you do to me, how do you like it? So I do think that that is there, but it wasn't kind of like a reaction of protection herself because she was in the moment of being like B -A -T -T -E -R, um, -E -D, um or physical A. So I don't know how that's going to go down, but it's just the delusion of her, which I was getting in my reading. I've done one reading, check it in the crime folder. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I think I'll be watching uh, Leilani. I haven't seen anything other than the clips of those interviews. So I haven't seen her movement. I haven't seen how she is right now, but we're going to do a reading. Um There's something about yeah so i don't know what she's pleading is she pleading not guilty is she pleading i hope she's not pleading insanity because there's no insanity there i can tell you from her energy um but i think she will try to set up a a, a male okay if it seems to be falling apart for her so that's going to be very interesting right what we're going to do is i feel like this i know that I don't know what time the babysitter was called, but like all this was kind of the morning of the fifth. And I'm gonna have to just do with this essence here. Um, I think I'm gonna go through some times, but first I wanna do an energy check-in of how she's feeling right now ahead of her trial, okay? Please do support the channel to um, help grow the channel and for me to not sit in a corner and cry every now and then. <laughs> I can't add drama to my readings. I just can't do it. And I think I attract the same kind of people to my channel. Um, which is good because I think I'd find it irritating as well if like it was totally woo-woo. And I find it really... Do you know what I find really strange is... Um, what was it? There was a true crime clip I saw and it was totally like, oh, mainstream media. I'm going to do something about mainstream media and it's going to it's going to involve politics. But it's the whole point. They talk about psychics being woo woo. And I think some probably are. And they're just using, you know, conspiracies. But, you know, there's also the mainstream media that only want to put out what they want to put out. So I don't see any difference between 
what everyone is saying, especially the true crime podcasters, because they seem to speak bad about psychics, yet they're listening to the mainstream news. Let's get into this. Let's see how she's feeling now, pre-trial, going ahead on Monday. Who's joining it? Um, I think as the channel grows, I'd love to do these like live. I've mentioned it before. Um, definitely live for Patreons and members, and then also subscribers, but um, at least like to make sure the channel's a bit big, so I'm not sat there on my own. And also by that time, maybe, you know, sort of the technology and the setup would be a bit different. Yeah, some of you, if you're my subscribers, probably know what I was just doing there with the wick that's falling to one side. Um, interesting, I'm pulled to this deck, which I didn't just cleanse. What I will do now. So let's see how she's feeling, Leilani. It'd be interesting to see if the grandmother comes up on the stage, right? Um, do you know what? I, I, parents really feel like, and I think a lot of people say this, they seem to make, they seem to think that their children should be feeling blessed that they have a parent that's giving them a roof over their head. In fact, as parents, you should feel blessed that you have a child. And whether your child is healthy or not, it's a blessing. It's an additional blessing for you for less, you know, kind of hard work and involvement in terms of if the child is fully healthy and you don't have to have that additional care. But it's your job to also be there emotionally, not just a roof over their head and not be there. Sometimes I feel that that's worse because when you don't have a parent, it's kind of like, well, I don't have a parent. Um, but when you have a parent that's just disengaged, you feel so rejected, disconnected. You don't feel love. It's, it's, I feel like it could be, a, it's a lot worse. So let's see how she's feeling. How is Leilani feeling at this moment, please, Spirit? Ahead of her trial. How is she feeling? Oh, look at this. She's definitely detoxed off um, the D-U-R-Gs. So she's been in... It'd be two years nearly now, right? And she was she was rejected bond, as I said in my research a year ago. I don't know when she was arrested, to be honest. They've moved fast on this one. There's some cases that I look at, there's like four years, they're still not moving. Is it like the Sarah Boone one, for example? So I think some states move quite fast. How is she feeling at the moment? She's trying to come up with these sort of new ideas and um, um, sort of um, it's the ideas of like defense that they can bring forward and also any injustices putting those out okay she is detoxed from uh, the GRUGs in comparison to what she was doing on the outside world. And why I say that is because apparently there is on the inside world, isn't there? So she's more in a, a clean frame of mind, I get here. But she's rejecting um, kind of what the state is saying, which is probably what her defense is. She's rejecting that. She's also, um, here I feel like she is, there's a bit of stubbornness. Um, I am going to see if she's remorseful. It's very strong when we get three cards and we've got two major arcanas. Um, but she's definitely released from addiction. Um, and I'm not sure she's still, this is what I was going to, this is why I'm doing the reading. I don't think she sees... Or she, and she's not wanting to see her own role in what happened. Yet yeah, she's also feeling, there's a little bit of feeling, um, she's feeling... She's not connected very much to like her soul. And you do really need to that to have that, to have the awakening. Here it's saying 
it's trying to call her to that but i think she's rejecting yet and i won't be surprised in a moment if we get like the victim card this is the exact energy that i was feeling for her and that's why i'm doing the reading um he you know she's hoping for the defense to kind of be able to put forward a powerful um a powerful presentation that really knocks the state off guard um and any power that they have let's continue a moment interesting i think this is her thinking about her mother um is her mother going to testify is her mother going to testify again we see that there is a spiritual calling here and I think she is starting to feel that, all right? She's starting, given the detox of drugs, I think her crown chakra is starting to get cleared. So it's going to be interesting to see her energy on trial, but I don't know how her energy was prior. I mean, if there was no cameras allowed, maybe on the bond hearing or when she's appeared in court, we haven't seen, but I'd, I'd be interesting to see. She is wondering if her mother's going to testify um, because her mother knows a lot of the secrets that are not out there. OK, let me say that at least two people know exactly what happened outside of her. Um, and I think it's the boyfriend and I think it's the mother. The mother, the mother knows that it was her. She might not know exactly how. But I think she does. And here we go. We've got three people. I know it's three women, but I think it's actually um, there. We've got two women as well. Um, I think it's actually and I think the babysitter might be guessing. There's a little bit of remorse. There is a little bit of remorse. Um, I think the remorse is actually about dumping the body where she dumped the body, the transportation of the body. Um, she, it seems like when she sits in her cell, she's so bored um, that the only thing that comes to her is, it seems like there's the higher power trying to speak to her um and she's just so bored in her in her cell but there is remorse here she does she does really want to just get the trial she does want to go to trial you know because some people don't want to go to trial they want to stall it um by the way is jail or prison more better i know that one of them they have the yard and they've got more accessible things i thought it was jail but recently it seems like I think it was a lawyer who mentioned it could be prison like jail is worse. I know that um, prison is state, I think, and jail is county, if I've got that right. Um, here, look, she's really holding on. She's wishing that, you know, the trial moves forward, probably in her favor. Yep. And she can then be probably freed. So possibly a little delusion there um here we've got the battle that she knows is going to be facing you know for to fight for her freedom um let's see fall in reverse okay so we have the full upright when i split it it's come out in reverse here she is wanting to move forward and um just a moment okay so we saw the full upright and here we have it in reverse so with these cards, what I feel is she's realizing there was a naive, naive, naive kind of approach in terms of dumping uh, the body. Again, like I said, there's a man that transported it and this card for me confirms that. Um, I also feel like she's in a bit of a naive approach that she will be freed. For some reason, I feel she's her energy is becoming more balanced in terms of a little bit more mature than what she was. So I'm going to be interested in pulling cards prior to this. Like, let's go back to um, 2022, right? Well, there is 
assumption at the time and even now that she has the answers and that is just being naive in terms of things So I don't think she's with her ex, her boyfriend. I think we read that she he's an ex-boyfriend. Um, but there's something here where she's walked away and I think it might be... Um, I don't know, like... So Quinton's father is different to the boyfriend. That's what I assume here. Yeah, she's got reject she's got reject she's got she's got re she's got regret and i feel like the regret is from splitting up from the um the dad of quinton but i do think that she was so into this new boyfriend like you know it's kind of like quinton was doing something maybe crying wanted her attention she was like oh he's spoiling the night i feel like they were having a party or something there, there was just a hangout and i i think she snapped okay like i said i don't want to bore you with going into that too deep i do want to pull another card on this I think she's waiting to see if the father will testify as well. The biological father of Quinton, will he testify? By the way, I feel like, does she have another child with this father? I feel like she knew him maybe from when she was at high school, although she looks like she was just at high school. Um, okay. I just want to check in on the boyfriend and then I want to just look at a certain time on the it's probably already headed into the fifth I think when she called like I said um it was already a done done scenario but it'd be interesting to see where if she did it from her phone where her location pinged even if she said she was somewhere else at the time I mean, honestly, to to find his remains in that dump, dump, well done to them. That must have taken ages, but I think they've had a clue. And I really want to know what that clue is. They've had someone say something that's led them there. Okay, so let's see um, the energy of the boyfriend I'm going to take the bottom, interesting, but not the others. One more card, Spirit. Do I take this? No, shuffle. Okay, one more card. Very strong, what I was mentioning. Okay. So, firstly, I think this boyfriend did work. Um, they wasn't just both lazy dossers in their mother's house, his her mother's house. I do think there's a money element here with her that was kind of on her mind. It was not the actual major factor of like a... Like I said, I don't think this was premeditated, although she should get what she gets to, you know, I, I believe she should get what she gets. Um, I'm not defending at all. I think it's terrible. It's disgusting. And it was very selfish. Um, I don't know if she works, but I think he works. Um, 
I do think that he might have put some money towards being there. Um, for me, it seems like his overall energy as a person is the things that in his life he's not been able to heal from. Um, he has been kind of like... Um, it's interesting. I don't think he was... It's going to be interesting to see how he comes across. He might actually come across quite presentable. Um, quite, you know, he's not going to sit there and look like an absolute slurring his words um that's the energy i get unless what's happened has caused him to go down a, a spiral so i've never seen him actually speak but i get that kind of thing when it comes to quinton exactly what i was feeling the mother holds the key he knows exactly what happened um but there is still something that's a secret that commenced in the evening um, so I don't know what time he finishes work and he returns home. It was like he was met with this anxiety. And, you know, for him, I think. I don't think it's easy on him. I don't think he's had an easy time. This is like very heavy energy in terms of how he feels towards Quinton and the situation. Um, you know, I feel like he was met by the shock of what happened. And again, we've got water here, which is interesting. Um, but here we've got something that resembles the landfill. But I do think, you know, like I said, where the water element could come in. Um, he knew that um justice would prevail in what happened to quinton he knew it um he obviously the mother is the hold of every single thing and detail and he was met with what he was met with something um he was met and i think what happened i want to go into the timing but i think it was before sunrise all right um, and I think he was told, like, we're in the midst of a crisis here. We need to do something to um, get rid of Quinton. If you look here, I have five cards on the deck, three are major arcanas, three are very strong major arcanas after each other. He definitely thinks she is going for, she is going to prison. For the met for the ex, um, I think he is worried about. Let me just pull it out. He is worried about the defense trying to um, again. I think it's around frame him. I'm not sure if the grandmother has much nice things to say about him okay um the grandmother might i don't know there's something there about that yeah um he also believes the grandmother knows what happened And he was met with, you know, listen, we've got to move forward. We've got to do something around what happened. Um, and it's kind of like take him somewhere where it's like, obviously, it's earthbound. This is the transportation, the confirmation, which I said. And then moving away from that area. I'm probably thinking they've done you know, just dumping him there and that it's kind of like a done, it's done. Yeah, he knew that at one day though, they'd be answering to this. Let me just get something else. I don't know why I keep going to the 7th of October and we're the 12th, aren't we? How is 
he feeling right now? Look at this, right? He is really worried that they're going to try and sneak one on him. Okay, he's worried that they're going to try and sneak one on him. But he's trying to hold his ground here. Um, and he is going to, he is going to, um, I think he is going to try and tell the truth. He's going to be, uh, and I think he's going to be on the state side. And I think it looks like he's going to be telling the truth. But at the same time, there's elements where he is. Needing not to get into anxiety where then he's lying to himself. He needs to stay on the perspective of honesty. Um, but I think there will still be something that he might hold back on, which will probably be this. Okay. Trans transporting because obviously the concealment and i think that's what he's going to hold on to which is not truthful okay all right so what we're going to do now is i just want to check certain times if we've got enough time these are all upright think it was it wasn't quite night and it wasn't quite morning okay it, it's the card that came out and I asked the question just again it wasn't I think it might have been very early morning the answer the reason I'm asking this is because I've got a time frame in mind um You know, something between, okay, something between four and five happened, and I'll extend it to something between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. happened on the 5th, I believe, okay? Um, I don't know if that's going to come out, that it was the 5th, or if they think that it was done a lot earlier than when, when he was reported, but it was definitely not directly at 9 a.m. What's interesting is that he said he'd seen him at 6 a.m. alive. Um, but why didn't she see him at 6 a.m. alive? That, you know, that the child doesn't just wander and the person's watching. What are they doing anyway at that time in the morning? Okay, I've got two very significant times here. We've got something before 12 a.m. on the 4th. And we've got the clock window of 3 a.m. on the 5th that something could have happened. 
something significant between four and five of, as well, okay? At two o'clock, there was something that, um, I wonder if there was there's something that they're not telling the truth on around 2 a.m. what they were up to. And I think this is to do with maybe dealings or it's to do with people that were there around 2 a.m. What did I say this was? The night before, right? Until 12 a.m. Those are the windows I've got really to narrow it down. I'm not going to keep going. Um, here it says 3 a.m. I think we are looking at something happening before 12 a.m. on the 4th. That's significant. And then we've got like two, 3 and 5 a.m. that could be significant as well, things that have happened during that time. So um, let me know if you're going to watch this trial. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, you know what to do. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you in the next one. Hi everyone, so I actually forgot to include the latest so that you're up to date in terms of going ahead with the trial. I mentioned that I did some research, so here we go, right? I forgot and I said bye and I thought I'll add this. I shuffled the cards, hopefully we'll catch it on. And this is the card from Quinton. Be at peace. How beautiful is that? Um, for me, these numbers added up mean a feminine as well, which means probably the mother, but I just think that's so beautiful out of these, this whole deck. This is the card. I was told, I was shuffling and then I was told no split the deck and it's absolutely beautiful. So because I already took away my candle and put it right in front of me while I work on something, let's just go into what i found so okay so we know that the trial will start on the 12th the 7th of october keeps coming to me i don't know why anyway there are 19 felony charges against simon which is leilani included one count of malice xing m-u-r-d-e-r -E two counts of felony Xing one count of concealing the X of another. Why two counts of felony Xing? Does anyone know that? What on earth is there? One count of falsely reporting a, a crime. 14 counts of making false statements during the course of the police investigation. This is, by the way, the court documents. So um, we get that. One second. What is then um, disposary notice? So Stokes also ruled, I think this is Tammy Stokes, the judge, ruled that not to admit disposary notice filed by Leilani Simon's mother, Billy Jo Howell, that the Chatham County Magistrate Court in early September 2022 to evict Leilani and her boyfriend from the home in the ruling. She did not find the evidence to be intrinsic. So basically the judge has um, said that the notice where mostly, it must be that the grandmother, Leilani's mother gave notice to Leilani and her boyfriend that they need to leave the home. And the judge is saying that's not really evidence connected to 
um, Quinton's case, so we're not going to include it. The judge also ruled to include two testimonies of individuals close to Leilani Simon when Quinton went missing, including a former neighbour who believes Leilani committed the ex and another former neighbour who occasionally babysat for Quinton. Interesting. Okay, so then we have Dean. Is Dean the, um, the, one of the exhibits that Stokes, the judge ruled inadmissible, included Leilani's drinking tequila shots at the popular Tea by Island bar, Stingray's seafood about two weeks after the first reported Quinton missing. So two weeks after she was seen partying it up, something Leilani denies when questioned by police investigators. Stokes, the judge, also ruled an admissible video of Leilani talking about her relationship with her ex-boyfriend. So those two things will not be evidence that the jury will be open to, but we've got it here, okay? And then the last part is basically Dean argued during the hearing that the exhibit showed Simon's motive and her state of mind and therefore it's relevant to the case. So that's the state lawyer. Hillard, meanwhile, so Hillard's the defence, I presume, argued that the exhibits that the state, which is the lawyer Dean, sought to admit didn't prove the counts in the indictment calling Dean's attempt, the state's attempt, to hail Mary Pass. To hail attempts, I think there should be an A. A hail Mary Pass. Jury selection began on Wednesday. Will continue until Friday morning. So the Friday that's just passed for us. And that's the documents. And I thought that was relevant. So now I shall say cheerio. And beautiful card Quinton brought through for us here. Isn't it always beautiful what spirit does? <sighs> I don't want to get into the energy, but that boy was petrified. And again, very much like, you know, kind of Elijah Vu, but I do feel Elijah Vu was a lot more tortured. I think maybe the grandmother was, she was just careless, neglectful. She was selfish. I really want to see her energy in court and probably prior um, more than that video that makes me feel sick in my stomach of her interviewing. It's insane, the mother's body language, isn't it? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you enjoyed this. Please do consider, and even if it's just a like, subscribing, sharing, help me grow the channel. If you want to become a member, Patreon exclusives are there. And also check out the community post in case there's anything there. Always check out the description box. And um, if you're going to be following the trial, let's follow it together. And we can do maybe your questions as a separate read following up. Take care and bye for now.